Yeah, so the most of what he's going to do, he's going to put the law in our hearts, man. He's going to put the laws in our hearts. This is Jeremiah 31, verse 33. For this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says your house, I will put my law in their inward part. So most I'm going to put the, put the law in our inward part so we won't be able to go on. It said, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. It will be their power and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother. So that's right. So we don't got to come in the highways and byways and edify our brothers. We don't have to do that no more. Because the law, when, when, when you're a baby, when you come out that pussy, the law is going to be in that child's spirit. You understand? It said, saying, No, Yahweh, for they shall all know me from the least and of them unto the greatest of them, says Yahweh. For I will forgive their iniquities and I will remember their sin no more. Thus says Yahweh, which gives the sun for a light by day in the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for light by night, which divided the sea when the waves they are brought. Yahweh hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from me, <laughs> says Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. That's right. So the sun is no longer, the moon is no longer, you know what I'm saying? If they don't give their ordinance, guess what? Israel is going to be done away with. But guess what? The sun, the moon is going to be there forever. The star is going to be there forever. You understand? Because they follow the law of the Heavenly Father. They all, all three of them, the stars, the heaven, I mean, the, the stars, the sun, the moon, they all got a role to play. And they're going to be there forever. It said, uh, if the ordinance depart from before me, says Yahweh, then the seed of Israel, Yeshurala, also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus says Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured and the found foundation of the earth search out beneath, I will also cast off the seed of Israel for all that they have done, says Yahweh. That's why they always try to, trying to go up in space, trying to measure the heavens, you know, or, me or, or measure, uh, or, or measure the, the earth beneath. The earth beneath. You understand? So thus says Yahweh, if the heaven above can be measured and the foundation of the earth search out beneath. That's right. If you could do all those things Esau, that means the most high is going to um, run away with us. But you can't do it. You can't do it, Esau. So the most high is establishing right there that if you could do these things, then he's going to be a done away with Yasharal. But Esau can't measure the earth. He can't, he can't measure the, the depths of the sea. He cannot do it. All right? He cannot do it. You know, a certain depth a submarine could only go. But he can't touch that bottom of that ocean at all, man. He can't do it. Or that, that submarine would explode. He can't measure the, the, the heavens. No matter how many satellites you put up there, man. Alright, so the most I established right there that he's only dealing with Israel, man, forever and ever. Forever and ever. We are the chosen people. And salvation is only for the nation of Israel. Not for these other nations. Man, happy to be an Israelite, yes? Happy to be an Israelite. Alright, beautiful. So we established that point, right? Let's go to uh, Hosea. Ugh. Hosea 1. Hosea 1, 10 through 11. Yet the number of children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. It shall come to pass that in the place where it, it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, 
ye are the sons of the living power. That's right. Look for the prophets that uh, sprung up over the years. Now, the message is that we are the sons of the living power. Yasharala, Yah, He, Shah, Prince, Allah, Power. So, He is the Prince of Power. So, we are the Prince of Power, man. It's being said right now in Babylon, at the four corners of the earth. Once it wasn't been, been said. They say, man, they are monkeys, man. They're not even human. You know, they're, they're only three fifths of a man. You know? They don't have no feelings or whatever the case might be. They are just, uh, they're just slaves. But now, in this times, they say, we are the sons of the living power, man. We are the sons of the living power. Yasharala. You know what I'm saying? Yep, let me keep reading. Then shall the children of Then the children of, of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered, be what? Be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. Who's that one head? King David. And they shall come up out of the land. For great shall be the day of Jezreel. Another way of saying Yasharal. You understand? Know man, this Bible, man, this Bible really comforts you. This Bible really comforts you. This Bible really comforts you, man. I'd rather have no other, man. This book is awesome. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I said it. It's awesome. <laughs> All right? Let's go to... uh. Let's go to Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33, 7 through 9. He said, um, I start at 6. Jeremiah 33, 6 through 9. Behold, I will bring it health and kill. And I will kill them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all the iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquity whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good. What? No, no, no. I don't have it. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise and honor before the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto, unto it. You know, so we're we going to be blessed. We're going to be blessed, man. We're going to be real prosperous in the kingdom, man. We're going to have abundance of everything, of everything, man. You know? Ain't going to be no more poverty with our people no more, man. Our people ain't going to be living in the streets. Our people ain't going to be no more vagrants. You know? These are kings walking down the street, man. You know? But we're going to, most likely going to restore everything back to us. And we ain't going to have no remembrance of the former things, man. Yep, our women gonna be right. Our women gonna be submissive. Our women gonna be wearing dresses, not pants. Our women gonna be righteous in the kingdom. Right now, they wicked as fuck. They wicked. These nigga women are wicked today, man. All right? You know, we speak the truth, man. We speak the truth. Because the truth is gonna set you free. Let's go to Psalms real quick. Psalms 14. Psalms 14. We're rocking and rolling, man. We're coming with dust says your Alba Shim, y'all shot. All right? Psalms 
Psalm 14, verse 7. Oh, that salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. When Yahweh brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. That's right. Israel shall be glad. Huh? <laughs> we ain't glad right now. We ain't happy. You know, we, we in our oppression. We in captivity. This is not our rest. As Michael 2.10 said, this is not our rest, man. We waiting for deliverance. Been waiting for deliverance since yesterday, man. Right? We waited for deliverance. Alright? Let's, uh, let's go to uh, Psalms 147 real quick. Psalms 147. 